Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan, and I'm going to show you guys how I wash my curly hair. Um, it's been in a bun or whatever, because I just got back from the gym, and I'm just going to show you how to wash my hair, and I have my sports bra on because it can get wet, and I just want to show you guys, like, step by step how I wash it. So, um, when I wet and when I wet my hair, I'll be in the shower, so I'm not going to show that part, but, um... So first thing I do is I take it and I split it in half and I'm just going to first detangle this wide tooth comb. So I start at the bottom and I go up and I'm just detangling the hair as you can see. Um, it doesn't really tangle that bad so but always start at the bottom and work your way up. And I'll show you how much shedding I get from doing this. And the hair does get really, <laughs> really big. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. Oh gosh, so start from the bottom. And I'm trying to do it quick so you guys don't have to sit here and watch all through this. But, um, yeah, so this is like detangled enough. <laughs> I believe. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like when it's combed out. And this is the shedding I got from detangling it. And you might think it's a lot, but I don't really think it's that much. It doesn't really bother me. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go get in the shower and Okay, so my this is what the down. hair looks like when it's like soaking wet, okay? So now what I'm going to do, and this is just water on the hair. All I did was go in the shower and wet it. So I'm going to use this shampoo, which I don't shampoo the hair all the time, but I'll shampoo it like um, once every two weeks, I guess. So I'm using this Curls. Brand creamy curl cleanser. It's for curly hair. Um, I really don't think it. I'm not really picky on shampoos, so I just use whatever I have, and this is what I have. So I, I use like this much. I'm gonna rub it, and I'm just gonna put it on one side. And I don't use a lot of shampoo because shampoo is drying. It dries your hair out sometimes, depending on what brand you have. I know if you have like organics, it's like. Um, not drying because it doesn't contain any sulfate. So yeah, I just put shampoo on this side and I'm running out. So yeah, I have to take the top off. Oh gosh. And then I'm just going to shampoo this side like so. As you can see, the hair is very long and it's really pretty. So just shampooed it. Um, it's not like a deep shampoo where it's going to like set up, but you can definitely feel that it's on the hair. So yeah. So I just shampooed it and that's all I do when I shampoo and then I'll like finger comb it through. So yeah. So now I'm going to go, I do have hair. And this is some the hair that I got just from now, running my hands through it. So yeah. Okay, I'm about to go rinse this okay, off. So I just rinsed the shampoo out, and now I'm about to apply conditioner to the hair. And this is the most important part: <laughs> is conditioning. So I'm gonna use this conditioner, Suave Sleep Conditioner. Um, this one right here. And I put tons of conditioner on the hair. And I'm running all on this too. Oh my gosh. So I have like a lot. Like this much. This is going on one side like this. And I start from the top. And get all the way up there. And go down. I'm making faces. Every time I put this on, okay, 
So yeah, there's a lot in the front. And this is a closure at top, and I like to keep that very conditioned for some reason. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to pres preserve my closure. Okay, so just going to the other side. And I use tons of conditioner. Um, oh my gosh. I prefer getting like really big bottles of conditioner that are at a good price because especially with long hair, you're going to use a lot of conditioner and it can get expensive if you keep buying it, especially curly hair because of curly hair that tends to need more attention and you end up washing it more because it can get drier easier. So I wash this hair a lot and yeah so put the conditioner on so now what I'm going to do is use my dimming brush and I'm just going to comb through it so I can make sure the conditioner gets all throughout the hair and I'm just getting rid of any more tangles that are in the hair oh my god <sighs> I'm getting stuff all over my floor it looks a mess oh well Okay, so yeah, I'm just combing it through with this brush. Uh, okay, this is ridiculous. So yeah, this is what it looks like now. And I'm just gonna leave this on for like five minutes. If you wanna get like a really good deep condition, you should just tie the hair up. You put it up and then put like a bag over it, a shower cap or a um, Walmart bag or grocery store bag and just tie it up. But I'm just going to keep this on for five minutes and I'm going to wash it out to my hair. Okay, so I just rinsed the conditioner out the hair and um, as you can see, like this is my hair up here. This is a little bit of hair I left out for my closure. Um, so yeah, and the rest of this is a closure. As you can see, my closure is like a reddish color. Yeah, because, um, I didn't put color corrector in it when I bleached the knots. So I put foundation on it. So that's why it looks red because I don't have any foundation on it. But when it dries, I will put the foundation on and it's simple. You just, you know, put it on the part. So what I do now, after I condition my hair, I... Sorry, I apply product to it to keep it moisturized and the first product I put on it is this curls, it's called curl cream brow and it moisturizes the hair and doesn't leave like this hard hold to it. Oh yeah, but first before I do that, I put this moisture lax, I mean moisture max uh, leave in olive oil on my leave out. I don't know where this came from, my friend gave it to me so. I just spray a little bit up front on my leave out to keep that moisturized. But yeah, so back to this. I use about this so much. And I just put it through the hair. Like this. And I just do the same for the other side. And this smells really, really good too. So yeah, I do that. Then what I do is I use my dimming brush again and I brush through the hair. And see how defined it makes the curls like, you see that? So yeah, I do that to both sides, of course. This looks so weird, that piece out. Oh gosh, okay. So after that, the curls are very defined. I use Moroccan Argan Oil. And I use about, I don't know if you can see it like that much. Rub it in and put it on each side. 
And then what I do, because I don't like my hair like really flat, so I take it and I just will start scrunching it a little bit. And do the same for the other side. Because I don't really like flat hair. I mean, it's flat right now because it's wet, but yeah. Scrunch a little. Okay, like that. Then I take my brush that I had since I was three, and I'm just going to brush the front of the hair down. And a lot of y'all ask um, about my closure, how do I keep it down? Um, I just use bobby pins and it's sewn. I don't use any, um, I don't use any glue or tape. So I'm going to take my scarf, my trusty scarf, and I put it on the front of the hair and tie it around. And this is just so, um, when my hair dries, the you not the you part, the um closure will be like flat and my leave out because I'm natural. The hair lays down flatter, and then I'll just like flat iron a little bit in the morning. So yeah, um, that's basically it. And throughout the drying process, throughout I the drying just, process, I keep scrunching my hair. Scrunching the hair gives it more curl. It makes it fuller, especially when it dries. So I just go and keep scrunching it just like this. I mean, I won't do it until it's like all the way dry, but I'll do it and then leave it alone and then it continues to dry. Then I'll do it again. So yeah, so this is what the hair looks like when it's wet and everything after you wash it. It's very pretty. I'm really liking this hair a lot. And I hope that this video helped you guys. Um, this hair is on a U part. Everything is sewn. So yeah. And then people ask, um, how do I wash my natural hair under the U part? Well, I really don't. The only time I wash it really like thoroughly is when I take it off. So I'll probably, I take this off like every two or three weeks and deep condition my natural hair. And I will have a natural hair video coming up in the middle of March because that will be my two year anniversary since my big chop and I haven't gotten it straightened professionally before. So I'll definitely have that video. Camera keeps on shutting off. So yeah, I'll definitely have that video um, in March for all you guys that were requesting it. So yeah, I'm um, just continue to scrunch the hair. And I'll probably do an update video on this hair tomorrow. And you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's completely dry, of course. So, yeah. It's very pretty. Um, thanks. Oh, gosh. I'm going to break my camera. It keeps turning off. But thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I'll see you next time.